just finishing off the fence because as you saw yesterday, all the posts are up. Now, I'm going to get the wire up, where there's going to be one line of barb, one line of electric, barb will be a high tensile, and hopefully then it will stay stood for, fingers crossed, maybe my lifetime. Maybe not, but we'll see. These posts do last a hell of a lot longer than steak. As I was going to get to yesterday, I was going to show you all a isolator that we make at home. Cool, eh? So again, free posts, reused barbed wire, because it's high tensile, and these bad boys, which obviously blue alkathene pipe, which is brilliant because it doesn't crack, it just bends. A hole drilled, little line cut out with angle grinder, split, and then two screw holes made, and it just holds it off the post. There you go. First isolator on, barbed wire on. Right, let's get to it. Trick, 16 inches from the top of the post. And the barbed wire, seven inches from the top of the post, which I'll explain in a minute. Okay, last post is done. That goes over to the reel. 
you see out there it's all done the way through yes you probably notice in behind me about here there's a post way out of line well when we we're going down the post hole borer it was rather hard there so i gave up and moved the hole now on these homemade isolators which any of you youngsters some of you are starting to ask us about our beef stuff and stuff and we're going to get to it promise i had this sort of idea of where i was going to go with episode after episode and i'm sort of doing my best to stay on topic or and to stay in almost a story line anyway these isolators that we make okay so there they are again obviously if you've got blue alkathene and we all got everyone is usually got blue alkathene kicking around somewhere the hole with the gap the gap doesn't have to be above it can be below like if you see here i can pull and pull and pull and where you put the slice line it grips it okay so any of you youngsters that are wanting to uh get the beef you want to put fences together you, you want to do things like fields and put fences all the way around and you want to electrify it but be able to take your electric wire down move to the next field but leave wood posts up these isolators mint um it does it does the job i'm just going to stay down sat on the floor whilst we end this vid but it it was it's not not something i came up with a guy called Roger used to live or work here and was my old man's best friend until he passed, unfortunately. He came up with so many of these amazing, amazing, amazing ideas. So I will never ever take credit unless I came up with it. Um, and he made these and ever since we've made them all the time. So simple, as I said before, drill one hole, with a little angle grinder or something or a knife cut a line through that hole so you can get the rope in and take it out whenever you want and then split the end fold it out so you can screw into a post like that and again what um i end up doing is i'll put one with the gap underneath and then the next one the gap will be on top so the rope is then weaved in and out on the way down through. Uh, this obviously is also taking very thick electric rope because this one will just stay up and um, even in the heat of summer, this one, this stuff won't stretch very much. That's why it's up. I also left, just so we're getting things, there's seven inches between the barb and the electric. Yes, I know I'm pointing at this bit and I didn't have enough high tensile to finish from how, I do not know, because it's the same length of fence. But didn't have enough high tensile, so I've done a bit of a bodge with some wire until I get a uh, fine one the rolls high with the tensile, which I don't know where I've left them because we don't do a lot of fencing. I know there's a roll and it's on the farm somewhere, but until then, that little bit there will do also left about a foot and a half between the electric and the ground so if you see all these sting nettles that we went through down the other end the cows will start clearing through i can't with some forefront and knapsack sprayer at some point and just blitz off the fence line if um if our big sprayer isn't coming out here which i don't think it is because we've sort of cleared the docks out of this field in the last two years so it might not have to be done so i'll forefront that with a knapsack and get it done and then the cows then that's the problem with sheep netting is sheep netting ends up if you don't if you leave it on the floor grass grows into the sheep netting and they don't clear underneath so obviously if there's any fences watching this you guys have probably got way more tricks than i have if you've got any i any thoughts and things leave in the comments below just so other people can learn um but yeah that's what it is fences up the girls are you know here with me maybe you get fed, fed up with oh, the fence a minute we can have some cows behind me a second so hope you 
have enjoyed this. If there's any youngsters or uh, guys slightly older than I am and you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up. Most appreciated. Thank you all very, very much for watching. Uh, if you haven't yet done so, please hit that subscribe. Um, I'm not going to go on about the bell because the bell probably do read in. If you get a subscribe, you'll, you'll soon see if we upload. Uh, it's been asked. We are trying our best, or and me with editing, trying my best to edit to put up videos Tuesdays and Thursdays at six thirty, and specials on Sunday. At the moment, because of lockdown, we're trying to do a Sunday video every week for you guys. And if you want to find us on other sites, you can find us on Instagram. Twitter and Snapchat. But until next time, hope you've enjoyed this. Cows have got their new fence. It looks neat and tidy. I'm happy. See you in the next one. You guys stay healthy and have a great weekend.